Hi there. In the short lecture, we will try to understand about quick access. Quick access will help you to directly point to the required folder. For example, here documents is coming actually from OneDrive. If you want to know manually browse, you need to go to this PC, C colon, and then users, and the username, and then OneDrive. And this is where documents are there. So instead of going in this long path, you can simply go by uh, go to this folder by quickly accessing from a quick access. This is how it's gonna work. So if you see here, this is a long lengthy path. Instead of that, you could simply go to documents from directly from a quick access. This makes our life easy. So let's say if I want to access a file, let me click on that file. So I can open up this file and, or maybe some other files, let's say I wanted to access this tax calculator for my ID filing and I'll just close this, this file. And if you see here under quick access, we open two applications that are actually listed here. This is called recent files. So if you would like to go back uh, to the recent files, you can simply click on this file. So it will take it to the latest file that you just opened. So if you do not want that to be now appear, you have an option from a privacy. So just uh, go to this three dots, go to the options and you see here you have a privacy option so when you clear or when you take out this checkbox it will actually clears the recent open files so i can simply clear and apply so now the background it's gone all the quick or recent open files so in case if i try to open also one more time any of this file example uh, this file it's not going to come up under quick access anymore. Um, the reason being from a privacy, we have taken out this recent files uh, or, you know, to show this checkboxes has been turned off. If I take it back, it will show up the recent files. So anyway, it's good to have that uh, checkbox. So I like to be there. I like to be uh, configured that way. But uh, if you could see here, the recently opened applications are actually pinned here so if you see pictures uh, we do have some kind of you know saved picture that's why it is pinned let's say if i don't want this to be you no know, pinned you could actually unpin this so unpin from quick access similarly if you have any of the folder for example i have a folder in this case document uh, from id filing i wanted this folder to be pinned uh, for quick access all i can do is just right click on that folder and click on pin to start so that it will come up here so that you could directly open up okay that's one way or uh, other way would be the pin to quick access so if i just click on here pin to quick access it's coming up here so i can directly navigate to the required path and similarly if i want any of these uh, folders for example for tools i want to pin to start button I can do that so if I just go back here the photos will come up so I can directly open the photos right so it's easy uh, in order to access this quick access one other way would be let's say if I want to access projects I can actually create a shortcut uh, by clicking on more options and send it to desktop as a shortcut so this is a common way that we use it normally so for example in the desktop now the shortcut is available if i just double click on that it just takes me to the required uh, folder path directly so this is the advantage that we have with the quick access so you could easily navigate whatever the folder you wanted uh, once it is available in quick access i hope this quick access you would be giving it try to use this and it will be very useful in order to organize the folders uh, the way for easy to access a method hope this is useful for you we'll catch you in the next lecture